the Met Office has upgraded its weather warning ahead of Storm Ophelia on Monday as Cornwall looks set to be the first place hit by the ex-hurricane in the UK. Winds speeds of 5,060 miles per hour, with gusts of more than 80 miles per hour are predicted to hit Cornwall as the ex-hurricane hits the west coast. The Met Office has issued a yellow weather warning for Cornwall and other parts of mainland Britain and says flying debris could cause a danger to life. After an emergency meeting this morning, they upgraded the warning to the more serious amber warning for Northern Ireland. A red alert is in place for parts of Southern Ireland. The trajectory of the hurricane means Cornwall will see a knock-on effect from the storm hitting Ireland and Northern Ireland. They also warned that power supplies, roads, railways, aircraft and ferries could all be disrupted across the west of the UK. People are also advised to be wary of damage to buildings and dangerous waves in exposed coastal areas in Cornwall. Two days of disruption are expected when the storm reaches the west coast of Britain on Monday. Ben Freeston wrote on Magic Seaweed While these storms might offer the first blast of a winter season, they're not generally offering the 21 feet at 18 seconds with 60 miles per hour on shores that are currently forming part of the forecast for Tramore in southern Ireland next Tuesday morning. A European landfall HASNT happened in 55 years and, if it comes off, as most models are indicating, it's something you might not live long enough to see again in an actual 50-year storm. Meanwhile, the mercury is set to rise over the coming days, with temperatures of 25C77F predicted in some areas of the country. A Met Office spokeswoman said the east side of the country certainly benefiting from some warmer temperatures into the weekend and at the start of next week. She said temperatures in the southeast will be around 20C68F, going up to 22C72F or 23C73F on Sunday and almost mid-20s on Monday, possibly getting to around 25C77F. Even up as far as Nottingham on Monday will see quite widely again 20C21C, but may well see 22C23C, she said. It will coincide with the 30th anniversary of the Great Storm of 1987, which hit southern England overnight on October 15. The storm caused damage estimated at £1 billion and claimed 18 lives. Met Office forecaster Alex Burkhill said Ophelia became a hurricane overnight and the forecast track takes it eastwards towards Iberia for the weekend. After that, indications are that by that point it will then have weakened and be no longer a hurricane or tropical storm, it will be extra tropical. But then it will continue its way towards the British Isles, probably reaching us very early next week. Mr. Brickhill said cold sea temperatures mean Ophelia will not be strong enough to be categorized as a hurricane when it hits Britain. But he added it's definitely something that we are keeping an eye on, for the possibility of some disruptive weather early next week. The unsettled weather looks likely to continue into Tuesday due to a separate band of low pressure, and will remain changeable throughout the rest of the week. Met Office spokesman Graham Madge told Cornwall Live on Sunday morning we're still expecting a very strong system. It has intensified to a Category 3 hurricane but it will lose strength as it gets over cooler waters. We expect winds of 5,060 miles per hour, possibly 70 miles per hour and exceptionally 80 miles per hour on exposed headlands but it's still quite a way out. And we will continue to look at the track as it moves northwards. Cornwall will certainly be the earliest to be affected. It is likely to be the county in England that will be the first to see the full impact of it. The center of the low is expected to be level with Cornwall at 6 a.m. Then it will get very close to Southern Ireland by midday. It's quite a slow-moving system. The center of the low will make contact with Ireland but not Cornwall. Winds will remain very strong in the southwest until midnight. The conditions I would look out for would be very strong winds and heavy seas particularly anywhere that's facing a southwesterly direction. The influence of hurricanes on the weather is more frequent than people believe but normally a hurricane will track across the Caribbean and swing into the North Atlantic, merging with other weather patterns and bringing warmth and energy to British weather. The difference with Ophelia is that the hurricane has developed and just headed north and is remaining as a discrete system in the North Atlantic. The BBC are reporting that it's the strongest hurricane this far east in the North Atlantic on record.